We've talked about uh, right triangles and how the Pythagorean theorem applies to right triangles, etc. We're going to talk about two special types of right triangles today, <coughs> and they are isosceles right triangle. Okay, if it's isosceles, the legs are congruent and these angles are 45 degrees each. So we also call this kind of a triangle a 45-45-90 triangle. Again, um, the side opposite the right angle is the hypotenuse. Let's just take an example. Let's say we have a right triangle and we'll make up some numbers and we'll say uh, we have an isosceles right triangle whose legs are seven units each. So what's the length of the hypotenuse? So let's call that H. We'll apply the Pythagorean theorem. Hypotenuse squared equals seven squared plus seven squared. H squared is 49 plus 49. So h squared is 98 and if I take the square root of both sides, um, hmm, look for the largest perfect square that's a factor of 98, that's 49. So h equals 7 root 2. So look at this relationship. You've got 7 7 and the hypotenuse is 7 root 2. So if you're getting a 45, 45, 90 triangle, the legs would be congruent, the hypotenuse would be root 2 times the leg. If you're given the leg, multiply by root 2. So remember this look. Given leg multiply by root 2 to find hypotenuse. So you would do exactly the opposite if you were given hypotenuse divide by root 2 to find leg. And this is of course when you are, have a 45, 45, 90 triangle. So, uh, let's just take an example here. What if I have uh, a right triangle? We'll just draw it in a different orientation. And it's 45, 45, 90. So this time, uh, let's just make up a number. Um, let's make up a number I'm going to make up 12. So you're given that the hypotenuse is 12. Find the leg. Okay. So we said, remember, the hypotenuse is equal to the leg times root 2. So I have an equation here. 12 equals L root 2. Divide both sides by root 2. You may not leave a radical in the denominator. It's just bad math etiquette. So the way to get rid of it is this. You multiply root 2 by root 2 in the denominator and therefore you have to do it in the numerator too. Okay? So if instead of root 2 you had root 3, you would multiply by root 3 over root 3. That is only to get rid of the radical in the denominator. So you get L equals 12 root 2. Root 2 times root 2 is 2. If you don't believe me, uh, do multiply root 2 by root 2, you get root 4 and root 4 is 2. So root 2 times root 2. L is 12 root 2 over 2. Now you can only cancel radicals so this 2 will cancel with this um, 12 
and you get L equals 6 root 2. Do a quick mental check. If I multiply 6 root 2 by root 2, will I get 12 for the hypotenuse? Yes. So my leg is correct. The next uh, triangle, special triangle we're going to look at is the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Uh, in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, life gets a little more interesting. And here's what happens. Now, I'm not going to prove that for you using Pythagorean theorem, etc. Um, but you can use numbers to figure it out. So, the, sh the shortest side in a triangle is opposite the smallest angle. In a 30, 60, 90 triangle, 30 degrees the smallest angle, the smallest side is x, opposite 30 degrees. Opposite 60 degrees is x root 3, x root 3. And the hypotenuse, which is opposite 90 degrees, is 2x. So in a 30, 60, 90 triangle, the hypotenuse is twice the shortest leg. Life is very hunky-dory. If you are given x, the shortest leg, you just multiply that by root 3 to get the long leg and then you multiply 2 to get the hypotenuse. What if you are given the hypotenuse and you have to work backwards? Well, no, actually, I'm going to change that. What if you're given the long leg? So let's make up a problem. We'll make up a problem over here. And um, we'll just say that the long leg is hmm, 15. Okay? This is 30 degrees. So if this is x, then this side would be x root 3 and this will be 2x. So I set 15 equal to x root 3, divide both sides by root 3, and you get 15 over root 3 equals x. We need to get rid of that radical in the denominator, so multiply both numerator and denominator by root 3 over root 3. Then you get 15 root 3 over 3 equals x. So this is 5. So x is 5 root 3. If you were given in a separate example that x was or the short leg, which we call x, which is up to the 30 degree angle, if that's 5, then the hypotenuse would be double, which is 10, and the long leg would be 5 root 3. Make sure you memorize your two special right triangles for 45, 45, 90, and I kind of like to write it this way to remind myself, I say 45, 45, 90, opposite 5, I'll have x, x, x root 2. In a 30, 60, 90, the shortest side, if I call that x, this is x root 3 and 2x. Now, if it is very easy to get the root 2, the root 3 and 2x confused, so make sure you memorize this and test it out with a partner. Good luck with the problems.